Hello Aquarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read for the main part of the read using Tarot Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti. Website is usgamesinc.com. Feel free to check that out if you'd like to. Support of Oracle Cards. Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lisbeth. There are their full names. On the back here there is the websites. There's a few websites. The one I noticed is shewhoisart.com near the end. Feel free to freeze frame on any of that information if you would like it, of course. What do we have for Aquarius? The moon's glow. Okay. The moon's glow. Starts off real good. Is it going to stay good? Is it going to stay good? Boundaries have to be made. Ooh! This card's showing up a lot today. I think all three air, air signs... You're the last of the air signs I'm doing. I think all three of them got the happiness card. So... Uh, I want to know more about this happiness card for Aquarius. Let's just start with the ending, shall we? Just for fun. Uh, Nine of Cups with the star card, which is your card. Having a better standing, better understanding or better place, to, like your position will be better at the end of this. Um, I don't want to believe in fairy tales. I want to believe in the truth. I want to know what's actually in front of me and I want to see it and I want to know that I can stand with it and, you know, depend on it. I need, I need the truth. I want the truth. I don't, don't tell me what I want to hear. Tell me what's really there. And I feel like I, I don't want that. Don't tell me what I want to hear. Don't do that. Tell me what's there. Like, you know, people who do that, they try to find a way to tell you what you want to hear. And you're like, no, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking, there's not something, I, what I want to hear is the truth. That's what I want to hear. Don't tell me it's all nice and pretty and bows and all this other, bows and beads and all this other good stuff. Don't give me all this ridiculousness. Tell me the truth. Don't give me sunshine and rainbows. Give me the truth. Um, and the way I say sunshine and rainbows, the reason I say it that way is like, you need... The rainbow happens after the storm, after the rain passes. It's not just sunshine and rainbows. You don't have a clear sky, nothing in the air, and the rainbow is sunshine and rainbow. It's not how that works usually. <laughs> it's not typically how that works. Um, you know something's not right, but it's not that bad. You do know something's not right. You're aware of that. But how bad is it really compared to what you're thinking anyway? Overthinking it. Um, definitely something here you don't like. Four of Cups and the Nine of Major Arcana, which is the Hermit card. Maybe overthinking a situation. It's not that bad, but you know something isn't right. You know when somebody's telling you what they want, they think you want to hear. You know when somebody's doing that. Aquarius is usually quite quick to the draw on that. Like, uh-huh, okay, you're telling me what I want to hear, which is not really what I want to hear. Okay. Um, you're going to have to... Hold back. Moon card with the boundaries. I feel like this is saying you're going to need to hold back from some of this situation. You don't need to know everything going on here. Some of this is kind of like, well, do you really want to know it? Um, some of this you don't really want to know. It's better and it's easier for you to not know. Uh, whatever this situation is, some of it is just, I don't need to know that. I don't need to know what's going on there. That's not something for me. That's not something that's going to make the situation better for me to know it. Um, and there is good energy coming in from it. I just feel like there's something here. How do I put this? It's kind of like having a sibling. <laughs> and they, they just, they do things that aren't bad, but maybe you don't care for it. It's the best way I can put it. I don't know if I really want to give the analogy because it's like it's it can be a little uncomfortable. Maybe there's certain things they do in their life that you're like, I don't like that. Uh, whatever it is, there's just certain things. Maybe maybe certain people they hang out with, certain activities that they do, and you're just like, I don't like that. It's their business. It's not for you to really judge, but you're like, it's you're happier not knowing. It's just that type of thing. That type of thing. Um, people have 
you know, everybody has their boundaries. They're just saying if you just don't, if you don't know, it's just, it's, it's something that's not going to change, whatever this is. It's not going to change. It's just going to make you uncomfortable to know it. Like, you know, yeah. I don't think we need, I feel like you can fill, figure out, you can fill in your own blanks on that. <laughs> I feel like you can fill in your own blanks. Because I'm like, I don't even want to go there. Because, like, I mean, my siblings, I don't want to know certain things about their lives. You know what I mean? I'm just like, your life, that's your business. I don't need to know that information. Um, I don't need to know certain things. And I don't want to know certain things. You know what I mean? They have things coming forward that they're going to be a part of, whoever this is. If they start telling you things, you also might want to, like, kind of like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's okay. Keep that to yourself. Because there might be a moment here, especially if alcohol is involved, where they might just tell you things, again, you don't want to hear. I keep getting this, like, information I don't want to hear. Um, or maybe it's a partner. Maybe it's a romantic partner. And they're telling you about a past lover or something like that. Don't need to know it. Don't want to know it. Keep that to yourself. That was them. I am not them. Nor do I want to be them. So let, just, let's just not. <laughs> um... I don't know how you feel about that, but, you know. Yeah, there's a good chance it has something like that. Um, there's something here that you don't want to know. And I keep getting, like, if you find this information out, it's just one of those things you can't forget. It's kind of like when you can't unsee something, you know. You just can't unsee something and you don't want to see it. Um, I get success here with the lover's card. It doesn't have to be a romantic connection, but there's something really good. There's a lot of success here also with the three, there, no, nope, that's the six of wands. And then there's the building of a foundation a little stronger with the um, ten of pentacles. Very secure with whoever this is. Is that what this is all about? Not pushing, not push, just because you can find something out doesn't mean you want to find something out. And I feel like that's what they're warning you about. Like, be careful. Because once you know something, it's hard for you to not know it. Your mind's too sharp. Your your mind is too strong. You're gonna know something, and it's just gonna be there. You're you you don't lie to yourself that way. You're gonna know when you know something. It's just gonna be there. Like there's something else I'm not touching on. I don't know what it is. Worthless information that you don't. I keep over and over again. Worthless information. It's gonna make them uncomfortable at some point when they realize that you're not a fan of this information. It could be a point of contention, maybe a quiet one where they just kind of pull back or recoil a little bit, that we don't really need that to happen either. Um, could be lost money. Why is that such a, Something about lost money could actually bother you. Something that this other person has moved on from and learned from, but it still just might bother you. Kind of like, you know family assets that might have been lost that shouldn't have been lost due to bad decisions maybe you don't want to know the truth because it's not going to change the future this person has learned the hard way and might have pain from that still they can't really get over themselves and you're not going to be happy with it either um it doesn't bring back that lost asset something like that There's also healing on your side. What is the healing about if we're not talking? Like, why are we walking away from this conversation yet? There's healing. Maybe this is something to do with the healing. What are we talking about with that? There's healing here. I get it. But the Four of Cups again and the Justice card. When you leave it to, like, you just leave it an open slate. Like, I'm not really sure what happened, but I can believe the best of the situation. It makes it easier for you to move forward and heal from it. If you know what actually happened... I just feel like it's not, it makes it harder. It just really does. Because this person, whoever this is, they've made some type of decision. They've done some things. It doesn't seem to be changing the situation. They know what they did. They know what the outcome that was they got. You knowing it does not make it easier for you or them. Um, I keep getting that. They're like saying, don't push the issue. Because they'll move on from it and they'll let it go if you can let this pass. I don't know what it is, but I feel like whatever it is, it's kind of like it's best left where it is. The Ace of Cups is kind of hanging out here. Happiness is hanging out here. I feel like you get closer to this person by leaving stuff where it is and things 
keel. If you search it out too deeply, I just feel like that becomes more of something that we can't get over. We keep talking about, and people just get upset about, and then we just avoid each other. We don't really reconnect. We just kind of avoid. Um, we stay away from each other rather than actually deal with each other. So it, it keep getting too. It could be something tangible like monetary that was lost that might have been like a family heirloom or something like that. I keep getting stuff like that. So whatever it is, if you just kind of let it be, I feel like it's easier to heal from it and move on from it. It doesn't become an issue. It doesn't become something we talk about. It's past. It's not going to change the future. Um, whatever it is, this person also understands where you stand with it, which is why they're trying not to bring it forward. And they're not going to bring it forward later either. But they seem to honor the situation like this is where you stand, Aquarius, and I'm going to make sure whenever I'm connected with you, when it comes to this subject, I handle it in a way that's not going to cause you upset. They seem to do that. This person who keeps trying to talk to you in a way like they keep trying to find it, find what you want, they keep trying to tell you what you want to hear, which you're not a fan of, they're trying to heal this. And this is their version of healing this. I can understand where you might look at this kind of like, well, by hiding the truth, how is that really healing this? Because I get what on their side it feels like, well, if you knew the truth, you wouldn't really, you wouldn't be at peace with it. <laughs> you wouldn't be okay with it. And just by letting it go and leaving it in the past and just letting it be there, they'll respect that like that's not ever going to be okay with you and they'll leave it in the past and they won't let it repeat. They want to heal this, but like dealing with the past doesn't seem to be bringing it forward. Um, dealing with the past does not seem to make it better. I don't know. It's strange to me to say that. Um, but also, I'm also getting a side thing of like, maybe with intense therapy and working through things in that way, maybe possibly. Um, but the way this is currently being handled, I feel like if we're just talking face to face and that's not creating a healing moment, it could just create more pain. If you were going to go down the road road where you were going to like you work with a therapist that you were both compatible with and sorted out your feelings, the upset, the happiness, the whatever came from it, and that maybe, but it's like being in the place to actually handle the past versus just dealing with the past is two, could be two different things. You know what I mean? Healing from the past and dealing with the past doesn't have to exist in the same. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know, it seems kind of brutal. But I don't know. They're saying it's up to you. If you can let it go, it, it's it's better for you and for them. If you can't, then you can't. But it does seem like it diverges you if you can't. It kind of separates. Hopefully there's value in that. I'm going to let it be there because I feel like I'm supposed to let it go. I'm going to let it go. All right, so I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.